Okay, in this video, I'm going to cover some accents or common accents. Okay, so I'm going to do this on my snare drum. All right, so so let's say <clears throat> let's say you have a pair of eighth notes, right? One and two. just did was <clears throat> I put accents on the down beats, right? Because your eighth note pattern is one and two and three and four and right. You could put accents on a down beat which would turn into one and two and three and four. Right? So I, as you can see an accent is one note that is drastically louder than the other. Sometimes not so drastically but for the most part an accent you know is you know, a note that's struck pretty, uh, pretty heavily, right? So, you know, as opposed to a ghost note, it's just a little tap, right? An accent is a higher note, right? That is louder than all the other notes, okay? So, the best way I would teach this to my students is playing eighth notes with one hand and playing accents on the downbeats. One and two. Then what you can do is you can accent the upbeats, right? So not the downbeats, but the upbeats. So you have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's another way you can do it. Also, if you play sixteenth notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, right? You can accent the downbeats, right? One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, right? You can do that. You can accent uh, all the eighth notes, right? So you play, basically with your right hand will play one and two and, and so on, and your, your, uh, your left hand will just be filling in the holes. One E and a two E and a three E and a so you'd be accenting the first note of the 16th note and the third note of the 16th note, okay? So you can play it like that. Also, you, uh, a common accent is you can, um, or common accent pattern, right? You can play all the upbeats of the 16th note, right? So you can play the second note of each 16th note and the fourth note of each 16th note, okay? So it would turn into one beat and a two beat and a two beat and a two beat and a one beat and a two beat and a two beat and a four beat and a, right? So you have different options with 16th notes. You have one beat and a two beat and a three beat and a four beat and a, and you have the upbeats, one beat and a two beat and a three beat and a four beat. And they're a lot of fun when you put them together and you mix them up. And... Yeah, you can put them wherever you want, right? You can you can mix them up. You can put it on uh, the downbeat, every downbeat, and every uh, uh, fourth note of the sixteenth notes, and they would sound. Oh, whoops. All right. Well, so you can put accents anywhere. Especially if you have the right subdivisions uh, going on with the accents. So and then the last one uh, I want to cover is triplets, right? So you have one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Right? So you can obviously cover the downbeats, right, of every triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet. Accent on on every second note of the triplet, so it'll be one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Or if you were to count the triplets in threes, one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, you would just accent every two. One two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. One, two, three. Obviously, in order to get comfortable with this, you have to slow it down. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I were to put the triplets together, it would sound like this. One, two, three, 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 one,
then or you the last option is you can you can accent uh, on every third note of the triplets, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Just slow that down real quick for some of you beginners, right? Uh, if you have trouble with this, slow it down so you can actually get the accents in the appropriate places, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, triplet, two, triplet, two, triplet, four, triplet, right? So those are the common accents, right? So I'll, I'll go over them real quick right now. So here's the eighth notes with the downbeat accents. One, Second one is the eighth note. Uh, eighth notes with the upbeat accents. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then we have sixteenth um, notes, right? You can accent every downbeat. One and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a. All right, or you can you can accent uh, every downbeat in every third beat, right? Every first and third beat of 16th notes, which would give you an eighth note thing with your right hand. One beat and a two beat and a three beat and a four beat and a one beat and a two beat and a three beat and a four beat and a, right? Or you can, with 16th notes, you can accent every upbeat, right? Which would be every second and fourth um, uh, note, right? Of the 16th notes. And then in the triplets, every downbeat, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Or every second note of the triplet, one, two, three, one, two. said one triplet, one triplet, it's really one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, just to be consistent with the numbers. And then the last one is every third note of the triplet. One, two, three, 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 two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay? So those are your options. Play around with those, see what you get. You know, there, you can get a lot of cool rhythms with, with displacing, um, or I should say, where you place the accents, or displacing them, uh, either one, because you can, you know, you can displace or, you know, place accents and make them sound really cool, depending, depending on what you're doing. So, hope that helps, you know, work on that and get your accents down so that your ghost notes are really sharp. And that's it for this video. Talk to you soon.